trouser. This assembly separates a single airflow into two airflows. A common name for this assembly is a trouser. Elbows must be constructed on the branches for this duct assembly. The two elbows can have different sections and the sum of both sections can be greater than the section from the main duct. But the height of the point at which the offset begins must be the same. The assembly principle is the same as that of the simple dynamic branch. It is made from two elbow ducts with dimensions X and Y respectively. The first step is to add the external measurements of the two airflow outlets X and Y. From this sum, subtract the measurement A. A is the overall dimension of the finished dynamic branch. To get the intersected size, which then leads to the calculation of dimension C. This measurement C must be divided by 2 and is then called D. Dimension D is then marked on each side of the ducts, which will eventually be joined, from the edge of each duct as shown in the images. It is then necessary to cut following this line marked on both elbow ducts. The joints are sealed with Klimaver glue and then Klimaver tape is used to overlap the joints to increase its strength. 